Jesus dismissed the disciples and said to them, you go to the other side of the lake while I go up into the mountain to pray. Now the Sea of Galilee isn't that wide. I guess it's about six or seven miles wide. But as the disciples are rowing their boat, what do you think starts to happen? What do you think happens, Henry? A storm. A storm comes up. Yeah, it's now in the night. And in fact, it's what's called the fourth watch, which is between three o'clock in the morning and six o'clock in the morning. Now, if they started rowing at about evening time, it means they've been rowing hard now for maybe as much as eight or nine hours. Imagine rowing for eight hours. How else are you going to feel? Tired. And as they're rowing in the boat, what happens? They see somebody. They see something on the water. What do they Jesus. see on the water? Early. Jesus. They see... What do they think it's Jesus? They think it's a ghost. They think it's a ghost. Well, we know it's Jesus, but they think it's a ghost. Why do you think they thought it was a ghost? Because people can't stand on water. They're scared of the storm, and now they're really scared of who this person is walking towards them. So Jesus says to them, he says, don't be scared, it's I. I have come to you. That just at the time they needed him the most, Jesus came. Do you think that's an accident? No, God often comes to us the time we need him most. When we're really struggling, when we have our darkest moments, when we think, I don't think God's there and I'm in real help, need of real help, that's the time that God will come and help us. Now, why do you think he's walking on the water towards them? Is, is he just showing off? Why do you think he's doing that? Yeah, that he is all powerful and... He's trying to show them that he's all powerful. He's saying to them, look, I'm worth putting your faith in. I'm not like other people. The things that are scaring them, he's just walking along it. They're terrified of the water and the storm, but Jesus is saying, for me, the water is just somewhere where I walk. Peter is in the boat. And he shouts out to Jesus, he says, Jesus, if that's really you, if it's really you, tell me to come to you on the water. Do you think Jesus says, no, Peter, no, that's a crazy idea, stay in the boat. What does he say, Donna? No, he says, yes. He says, yes, come, come to me. So Peter gets out of the boat, here he goes. He thinks, okay, Jesus, I'm going to come to where you are. And he walks and he walks and he walks. Here he goes, he's walking towards Jesus. Is and Peter for a few moments is walking on water. Isn't it interesting how it's always Peter? You know, Peter's the one who has faith. What does he think when he suddenly sees the waves? What happens, Don? I'm going to sink. I'm going to sink. And suddenly he takes his eyes off Jesus and instead he looks at his problem. And the Bible says that when he does that, he starts to sink. There he goes, starting to sink. What does he do when he starts to sink? Who does he cry out to? Jesus. To Jesus only. He says, Jesus, help me, help me. Does Jesus just watch him and leave him there? No, Jesus bends down, he picks him up, and he helps him to get back into the boat. Should we see him getting back into the boat? I'm not going to show Jesus helping him, but Peter gets back into the boat. People sometimes say, about Peter, well, Peter had no faith. Well, that's why he couldn't keep on walking on the water, because he looked at his problems. Will you put your hand up if you've ever walked on water? I've never walked on water. I've never heard of anyone else who ever managed it. And let's not think about Peter that he was somehow got it wrong, because Peter showed great courage and great bravery. And Jesus was saying to the disciples, I want you to get more faith. And Peter did exactly what Jesus wanted him to do. He said, look, I can walk on water. If you trust in me, the things that normally frighten you, you don't have to be scared of anymore. Get out of the boat. Walk on the water. Come towards me. Now, Peter wasn't a superhero. He, he didn't have supernatural strength. But Jesus gave him the power just for those few steps to be able to walk on the water as well. Yes, he took his eyes off Jesus. Yes, he lost his faith for a moment. And yes, he sunk. But you know, Peter could still go away and say, wow, I walked on water. When Jesus helps Peter back into the boat, the disciples help Jesus into the boat as well. And do you know what they say to him? Truly, you are the Son of God. 
And what's interesting is it's the first time they've said it. It's the first time they've ever realised who Jesus is. And it took him to walk on the water and to show that even Peter could walk on the water to, for them to understand that the person they were dealing with really was the Son of God.